monsters! Fuck off! Get Doppler belongs in a fire, not on stage. And you belong in a sty, swine. Garo! Your goat Charles misses you! Looks like rain. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen, but I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who is playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him, but I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful. Yet, 
I do have more stage experience. Let's have Priscilla do it. No offense, but uh, most people... Assign greater importance to appearance than to talent. I understand. I shall let her know. I'm certain she'll be wonderful. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique, but he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier, outstanding actor, and audiences love him. But sadly, I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? <laughs> Prissy told me you like to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me, Witcher, are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Come, Geralt, you must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, A Changeling Rescued or the Witcher's Triumph. The players, Witcher Geralt as himself, Katarina as the Queen, Leo Rybe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, the lovely Trabaritz with the voice of a nightingale, Priscilla. <laughs> Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. <laughs> Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. I kill monsters for pleasure, and... And no man is my measure. He swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, 
He'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day, the princess's betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Maybe he hid in the cellar, or a barrel of beer. <coughs> My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, <laughs> I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment's joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, <coughs> but a brew spiked with silver. <gasps> My bowels contract a foul beast to deliver. <gasps> hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love, for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish, changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. Show love for Dopplers, as well as for fish. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. Guard! Call the guard! Remove the traitor at once! 